Like every other community in the country, my hometown was basically two towns. There was the rich Cedar Knoll and the not-so-rich Cedar Knoll. Sure, there was a difference, but me and my friends, we didn't care. The rich had their way of life, and we had ours. I was perfectly content with my place in the world. 750. Until the day I discovered my friends were a rung or two above me on the social ladder. A horn? What do you need a horn for? You were blessed with a big mouth. Use it. I'm sorry, Louie. We just don't have that kind of money lying around. But all my friends have new horns. Well, if all your friends had new motorcycles, would you want one too? Well, yeah. Hmm, that backfired. She went to clown school, they said I got a horn there. So, little Tommy, big birthday coming up, huh? That's right, the big O5. You're coming to my party, aren't you? Of course. Hey, here's the thought. Why don't you ask Mom and Dad for a new bike horn? For your birthday. Then give it to me. Hey, here's a thought. Not a chance. Well, it was worth a shot. Eight years old, hornless. What kind of a life is this? Louie, I've been thinking about this whole bike horn issue. Really? This is something you need for safety, right? Absolutely. Your father and I talked last night, and we decided <gasps> you should have this, Louie. Face the facts. You need a horn. I only have 38 cents. I'm broke, penniless, get it? I'm destitute, without capital, tapped out, hard up. I'm a guy down on his luck. What are you saying? You don't have 750? You're a quick one. A financial problem? Louie, Bobby, you should have come to me. I got just a solution. I know some people. Huh. Who are you? Godfather Cedar Old? Hey, cuz, what are you doing here? This is my cousin Marvin. He's gonna give us some catting jobs. Forget it, Goonwald. Hey, so when are you going to all the catch? What? I was nine years old. Dear Ladybird, your hair is the color of sweet maple syrup. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll do it. Jeez, you write one lousy love letter to the first lady and you pay for it your whole life. What now, Goonwald? Golfers come by, look us over, and choose us. We spend the rest of the day in the sunshine, earning tips. Hey, you! Wake up! Me? No, your invisible twin brother. But, but I'm an only child. Come on! I ain't got all day! Why are golfers always in such a lousy mood? They're not so bad. The guy you really want to look out for is Jojo Stamopoulos. Who's that? The top golfer in the club. He's got a horrible temper. Rumor is, he once got so mad when he missed a two-foot putt, that he buried his caddy in the sand trap on the 14th hole. Well, what's he look like? He's a big guy. Always wears a... A red golfing cap? Yeah. How'd you know? Mm. Lucky guess. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a caddy mm. by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Out goes Y-O-U. <laughs> All right, buddy, on your feet. You said out goes Y-O-U, so by traditional eeny, meeny, miny rules, uh, I'm in the clear, really. Let's go, wise guy. Uh, excuse me, the clubs. Your job is to carry the clubs. What? I'm supposed to be your caddy and carry your clubs? Jeez! Hope you're paying me double. Oh, oh man, what's in here? Hey, is you carry your family with you? I don't know about you, kid. I think there's a sand trap out here with your name on it. All right, Louie, give me a tea. Tea. Huh? Give me a tea. Tea. Are you listening? I said, give me a tea. Tea! I'm guessing this is going to be a long day. Oh. Oh. I'm feeling like I need a four iron, Louie. I'm feeling like you don't have one. What? No. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh... Against this stiff wind, uh, better give me a two iron. Sorry. All out. Where's
Where's my two iron? Well, you used it on the tenth hole. Yeah, and? Well, no, I thought you were done with that. So you left it there? I'm supposed to carry these things to every hole? What's left? A putter. I'm on the fairway. What do you expect me to do with a putter? Hey, Jojo, scared of a little water? <laughs> Let's go. We're not getting any younger. <laughs> oh. Give me that. You're the worst caddy I grew. Hey, hey, look at that. Nailed it. Louis, get over here, little buddy. Little buddy? It's hard to believe, but even after all you put me through, I'm on the verge of my personal best. Only for you, sir. Tell me something, son. How would you like to spend the summer with me as my exclusive kid? Well, there's a dream come true. Uh, let me just think about it. Uh, no. You're just a lucky charm I've been looking for, kid. You sure you won't reconsider? I'll make it worth your while. Louis, hey, wake up. Wake up. Hey, Grunewald, you ever hear of a doorbell? I don't want to wake everyone up. Oh, how considerate of you. Sorry. Louie, let's go. The bike store opened at 9. Sorry, goon. Gotta work today. Go buy one for me, would ya? You? you can keep the change, kid. Sure, Louie. Hey, who wants ice cream? So I joined the working world. My job title, full-time lucky charm. The caddying got easier, and I quickly learned my way around the golf course. A T, as it turns out, isn't just the 20th letter in the alphabet. The wind's at your back, Mr. Stomopoulos. I think you might want to try the floor wood. Hmm? Good suggestion, Louis. And, uh, call me Jojo. You got it, Jojo. Nah, I take it back. Mm. Looks like it'll break about ten inches to your right. All right! How about brunch, Louis? My treat. You ever have strawberries and cream? Well, sure. Whenever I'm at Wimbledon, that's my usual. More? I'm stuffed. I couldn't eat another bite. Oh, okay. You need your energy. Why is that? Guys, we got a 12-15 tea up time. You gotta be kidding. Another 18? That's right. You don't become club champion by sitting on your keister all afternoon eating strawberries and cream. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. How about a cold one, huh? I'm busy. You'll have to get it yourself. Duh. Hey, Dad, be a sport. Go get me a cold one. What? And there's another five in it for you if you make it snappy. Uh, five bucks is five bucks. Huh? Come see, come see. Andy, I'm worried about Louie. All this caddying, it's changing him. And for the better, too. The kid greased my palm. Uh, it's just not right. You think I should have held out for ten? Well, I'm worried. He seems so different. Don't worry so much. He's still the same old look. Jojo was having his best season ever, and he said it was all because of me. I was his lucky cat. So he let me have full use of the club. Hey, don't scratch this. Anything I wanted, I could just charge to his account. Officially. Mm. I was still an employee. But... I felt like a member. Hey, you wanna toss the pink skin around, kid? Sorry, Dad. No can do. I'm on the clock. Louie, light of my life, favorite son. Wanna watch the Night Sniffer Marathon? Need some pizza and donuts? Oh, kid. Love to, Dad, but someone's gotta bring home the bacon around here. Huh? What am I, chopped liver? No, 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 Jojo, I'll tell you what my broker says. Stick with the T-bills, the blue chips, and the plastics. Forget this plastic nonsense. It's computers now. My guy gave me the inside word. A company called IBM. I'm telling you, Dad, computers. They're the wave of the future. Jojo says so. Thanks for the tip, Louie. I'll invest my nest egg. Hey, honey, how much in my nest egg? Huh? Three dollars and... Ooh, two oatmeal delights. Computers. <laughs> That's a real growth industry. Never heard anything so ridiculous. When did you get so concerned about making money, Louie? Jojo says the way to judge a man is by the size of his wallet. Hmm. Jojo says a lot, doesn't he? Mother, how come we don't have strawberries and cream for breakfast? Well, because they're too expensive. Jeez. 
Everything's too expensive for you guys. No strawberries and cream, no eggs Benedict, no hot tub in the bathroom. Louie, that's enough. Hey, Tommy, give you five bucks if you run down to the deli and pick up some lots. I'm busy. My birthday party guest list. Second draft. Psst. Today, I'll do it for ten. Andy. Henry, pull in here. Do me a favor, Louie. Give my car a wash. I thought I was off duty. You're not off duty until I tell you you're off duty, understand? See this? This means I own you. Now don't skip on the elbow grease. Yes, sir. <laughs> Get him! Get yeah! Him, Take this! <laughs> hey, you guys, come here. What the heck's going on? Oh! <laughs> we got him! Yeah! <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? I'm working! You're always working, Louie. We never even see you anymore. Sorry, guys. JoJo says I shouldn't waste my life hanging around with immature kids who are never going to amount to anything. No offense. None taken. <laughs> yeah. Why should we be offended by that? Because he said we were immature and won't amount to anything. That was sarcasm, toddler. Oh, yeah. Sarcasm. Yahoo! Happy birthday to me! Remember, Louie, Tommy's birthday party starts at noon. Sorry, Mother. I'll be on the 10th tee at noon. Did you forget my uh, birthday? Absolutely not. I got you a gift. <laughs> hey, I bet that's it right now. Here you go. Coming through. Sign here. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Open it. A jumbo night sniffer! Thanks! Louie, they forgot to remove the price tag. No, I told him to leave it on, so Tommy would know how much I love him. Happy birthday, kid. See you later. I'll save you a piece of cake, Louie. No one eats cake anymore. We'll be having chocolate mousse at the club. Fine! I didn't want you to come anyway. Louie! What? I'm gonna be late. Someday you're going to learn. There are some things in life that are more important than money. I know. It's just that it takes a lot of money to buy all those things. Ciao, Mother. Hey, guys. Are you catting today? What is going on? We figured a big shot like you needed a bench all to himself. Yeah. We're not mature enough to sit with you. That was sarcasm, in case you didn't notice. Watch this. Ah, the wind caught it. Louie! Hey, Louie! What do you think? Huh? Oh, uh, nice shot, Mr. Stomopoulos. Come on, Louie, let's talk. Yeah, moving in on my territory, huh? That's it. I've had it. You mean you're finally going to tell Louie he's got to quit his caddying job? No. I mean, I'm taking up golf. That kid's having too much fun. Good morning, sir. Going to a carnival? Careful with this beauty. She's a classic. Don't scratch her. Can I help you? Yeah, where do I tee up? Are you a member? You know who I am. I'm Louie's dad. Yes, and I'm sure Louie, whoever he is, is real proud. Andy Anderson, huh? right? I couldn't help noticing the family resemblance. I'm Jojo. Looking for a game? You can play with me. My treat. Now, let's go find you a caddy. I've got one in mind. Louie, how hard can this choice be? I'm your father. Louie, who's been paying you all summer? Louie, who's been feeding you your whole life? Think about responsibility, Louie. Loyalty, Louie. Who's your friend? Who's your pal? Never mind that. Who created you out of nothing? Well, your mom helped a little. Wise choice, son. Oh, traitor. On the first tee, we have Anderson and Stamopoulos. Hey. All right, grown all dear with me. Oh, happy day. I just got to loosen up the old swing. This could take a while, Louie. Hope you brought a book. Hey, Dad, try keeping your head down this time. I've been playing this game since before you were born. Who do you think came up with that keeping your head down idea? Ha-ha! <laughs> See that? Yeah, that's Whoa, a beauty. Wild shot! 
What kind of sap would park so close to a golf course? You did, Dad. Ooh, that felt good. This is it. I'm clinching the title today. Louie, break out the bubbly. Louie? Don't Louis. dance in your shoes so much. Bend your knees. Pendulum motion. People pay you for this kind of advice? Feels like a little headwind. I'm thinking of three wood. What do you say, Louis? Keep going, Mr. Anderson. I, I think I can see China. Oh. Keep your feet together. Elbow down. Focus behind the ball. Louie, I'm gonna give you about three seconds to make a decision here. Now, who are you working for? Me, club champion, or him? Mr. Journey to the center of the earth. Hey, that's my dad you're talking about. And I'm his caddy. Think about the money, Louie. Don't work for me, you don't get the money. A smart person told me once, <laughs> there's some things in life more important than money. Oh, yeah, name one. Dignity. Here, Dad, let me show you how this is done. Just for the record, Mr. Stamopoulos, I totally disagree with Louie. And so with my expert caddy, and I was able to turn Dad's terrible golf game into a terrible golf game that caused less property damage. Think you might want to adjust your grip? You sure you don't want the five wood? Here, kid, take this and start digging a hole in the sand trap on 14. You see that, Louie? <laughs> You're looking at this year's club champion. Guess I don't need you anymore, huh? <laughs> Guess not. You know what I think, Louie? You weren't lucky at all. It was me. Me all along. I was the one with all the luck. Don't Joe Stumpanopoulos, the luckiest man in the... Oh. Oh. Oh, that hurt. And one. Look at this game with a piece of cake. Nice shot, Dad. Hm. You kidding? That was nice catting, son. You're a natural. So, how much do I get for helping you up? Louie, I got a confession to make. I know your old man looked like a pro out there, but the truth is, that was my first time golfing, kid. You don't say. Thanks for helping me look good, Dad. You're a great son. Dad, you don't have to tip me. Not a tip. That's your share of the profit. Profit from what? That stock tip you gave me. I only had enough for one share, but the crazy thing skyrocketed and then split. Thanks, Dad. Computers. There's a passing fad if I ever heard of one. Hey, guys, I'm glad I found you. I, uh, really want to apologize. You were a jerk. You're sorry you'll never do it again. Right? Well, yeah, but don't you want to see me grovel? Of course we do, but there's no time. Grunewald sent us to find you. He, he said it was an emergency. Well, where is he? The golf course, hole 14. Hole 14? That's the sand trap. Come on, we gotta go. He said he'd be here. Come on, help me dig. Hey, I think I see something. You scared me to death. That's for calling me immature. Well, trick like that, you certainly proved me wrong. You got some sand in your hair. Let me get that for you. Hey. Let's go, you swim. Let's go stand down and get it.